up in the Philippines and um, really didn't have that much access to graphic novels outside of the ones that my friends owned and most of them were uh, Chinese translated, were translated into Chinese mm -hmm. so uh, I didn't have that as much intimacy with the with manga and black and white graphic novels that I've come to love. Um, ever since I moved here to the United States, the libraries and their graphic novel collections just really expanded my uh, knowledge base and you know the things that I've read um, so I've encountered everything from European comics through you know first second publishing and, and the graphic novels that they publish as well as you know the, the collections of manga like Naoki Urasawa's work was introduced to me for the first time um, and I really feel that that's sort of really motivated me to pursue my graphic novels um, a graphic novel and, and, and to really improve on my craft. Um, just seeing those arrayed in bookstores and in, in libraries, of course, uh, just really lit a fire underneath me. <laughs> um, I couldn't wait. Like I, I just couldn't wait to get like the book in my hand. Poltergeist is the story of a college girl who ends up moving into a house that's filled with ghost guys, and since she's the only one that can see them, she has to help them resolve their unfinished business. And there's a mystery element to it because the ghosts don't remember how they died. So um, each case for her, the ghost um, has to be sort of sussed out by Bree, my main character. One of the first uh, artists that you know I was really emulating and kind of uh, interested in uh, was Clamp. They do mm. Park Upper Sakura X1999. Um, and I really love the way they did line art and were really creative with their panels um, and uh, yeah I was really fond of that style for a long time but it wasn't until I started mixing and matching sort of my inspiration from Western comics um, and animation mm -hmm. as well. I fell in love with uh, visual storytelling from animation first and foremost and Disney things like that but um, I guess it was when I uh, found out about Avatar The Last Airbender um, and I really started playing with my style a lot more and, you know, adding nostrils is <laughs> one of my favorite moments of my artistic growth. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's time I added a nostril <laughs> into my faces and, and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, definitely a mishmash of all the things mm -hmm. that I love. For someone who's, like, new to graphic novels, is there something that you would recommend? recommend them something like Anya's Ghost or uh, Friends with Boys. And first of all, those those two books are made by some of my favorite comic artists working today, Vera Brasco and uh, Faith Aaron Hicks. Um, they both have fairly uh, simple panel structure, I would say, compared to a manga, which often goes crazy with their paneling. And you know, for someone new to graphic novels and possibly not very certain about the sequential uh, mm -hmm. aspect of reading panels across a page. Um, those are very straightforward. So uh, they they also feature, and this is definitely a bias for me, like awesome female characters. Oh, yes. uh, the thing about these awesome female comic artists that I've always admired, and they were web comic artists before, is that they write in a very specific way, and that's um, you know, they have characters that are three-dimensional, you know, they're not like superhero, like caught up in all the mythos of the superhero uh, portion, you know, that's all well and good, but this, these graphic novels are very easy to jump into because it's a self-contained.